स्पॉटलाइट में आपका स्वागत है मैं हूं आपकी होस्ट अमिता जॉइन मी वीकली एस आई टॉक टू इंस्पायरिंग गेस्ट हुल शेयर दे सक्सेस स्टोरीज आज हमारे साथ स्टूडियो में है अ वर्ल्ड स्पिरिचुअल लीडर हु हैज ग्लोबल फॉलोअर्स फ्रॉम मेनी फेथ्स एन अवेकेंट बींग अ प्रोफाउंड मिस्टेक अ कंटेम्प्रेरी मास्टर एंड मच मोर शी इज ऑल्सो एन आउटस्टैंडिंग वोटरी फॉर वुमेन एम्पावरमेंट Today we'll talk to her about her NGO Shakti as well. It is my immense pleasure and a great honor to welcome to our studio Anand Murthy Guruma. Thank you for coming to our studio Guruma. Thanks for having me. <laughs> Guruma, a lot of people take years of solemnity to attain enlightenment, but you attained it at such a young age. That's amazing. Tell us a little bit more. Well, I believe that in our root we are all divine beings it is not that we have to do something to get that level of divinity in us we are the divine being uh, but we have the other layer also which we call the mortal layer mortal layer of the body and the changing layer of the mind and the dark layer of the unconsciousness and mm. beneath that is the real you the real self wow right Perfect. so this real self is divine the only thing is that if we are stuck at the level 1 that is the body mm-hmm. then our whole time is consumed in satisfying the body alone through our five senses the five doors which we have we connect out through our eyes through our ears through nose through our tongue through our skin mm-hmm. and this gives an interactive give and take and the pursuit is for happiness Very and the true. pursuit is for the joy mm-hmm. so the most of the humanity is is stuck in that layer number 1 that is the body alone then comes the layer number 2 that mm-hmm. is the mind mm-hmm. we hardly know anything about our own mind right <laughs> yes yeah <laughs> so um, we all those say to others mind your own business but we don't know how to mind our own mind's business wow right? that's true yeah right? right so this mind is is what is the the biggest i would say the obstacle and i always say there is no distance in between you and the divinity the only obstruction is your own mind mhm so the day you understand and the day you are able to transgress the mind you are the divine being amazing so it's the mind that is uh, that uh, yes. barrier between us it and is. the divinity it is it is and then uh, but then uh, spiritual leaders like yourself do you think that mind barrier has been removed is that why you have attained that uh, mind closer to divinity the thing is that the, the thing is like i don't know what a mom eats that she gives a birth to a poet like tagore or shakespeare mm. I don't know what their mom ate. <laughs> <laughs> so I don't know what a, a certain set of parents do that uh, they are able to uh, give birth to somebody who has this weird kind of um drive. Mm-hmm. Right? And and the choices which one begins to make in a very early childhood. and so someone is very attracted to the music someone is very attracted to the dance mm-hmm. someone is very attracted to linguistic uh, stuff and maybe i was too interested to know what the truth is mm. that's the only thing yes and i would say fortunately and by the grace that i got chance to meet so many wonderful people mm-hmm. right at my home who gave me i would say home tutoring <laughs> okay um, the home tutoring should i say or the uh, the the need to look out uh, and for a person who can answer was never there because the teachers were right there in my home that's so amazing so that easy access actually made things so uh, fantastically easy for me so i i believe that it is just that all the things worked up very nice it and all came so, together all well. came together and with their grace and with the teachings and and most importantly what i feel is that the child is what the child's surroundings will be mm. okay what the child's parents would be what the child's teachers would be 
Okay. So if the parents, teachers, surroundings are all are conducive for the uh, inner spiritual growth, that is going to happen. And I am not a, some special case. It would happen to anybody. You're very humble and oh, enlightened. No, I, I don't think so. <laughs> I am being humble. I'm just stating a fact. Fact. Just but, a fact. And you actually answered the question I had in mind, where you are talking about everything coming together. So yeah. there's a little bit probably of destiny, but there's a little bit of choice, a little bit of situation, but it all has to come together yes. into one whole yes. to make the person get closer to divinity See, and what, get enlightenment. what we inspire for, what is our drive, what we will uh, be looking for, for, what is my priority? It is something very personal, but it gets uh, affected very heavily and very deeply by our surroundings. Mm -hmm. So the surroundings make, make a very uh, big role, a key role into that. And then it is all about how perceptive the individual is. Mm. If the perception is a bit wavery, Mm -hmm. or the mind is fogged up or should I say the mind is, is too much at the level of the body alone. Mm -hmm. That doesn't mean that I didn't do a mischief in my childhood. No, no, no. Mm -hmm. I, I don't say that I never played around or I was always sitting and meditating. No, no, no. That's not. I was the most mischievous person in my whole family. Mm -hmm. Right. And maybe my teachers in my school time would remember me because of that and not because that. I was some very you know, serious kind of a student, mm -hmm. that's not the case. Life, an ordinary mundane life and the spiritual life are not two diametrically opposite things. Mm -hmm. So you can be a very commonly common person and you can still be a very spiritual person. Wow. That is hope for everybody oh, out sure, there. Sure, so sure, sure. we have talked about what can bring you closer to that enlightenment, free yourself and now we would like to explore further how we can guide everybody today towards that true happiness. These days, it's almost a fashionable statement to say, oh, I'm stressed out, we have deadlines to meet. So how would you guide somebody? We talked about that mind being a barrier, but mm -hmm. how would you guide somebody? What is true happiness? See, until I am running after a stuff which is outside of me, I am going to behave like a mad dog, right? Mm. Right? And uh, that is what actually is happening, that we have so many beautiful, enticing, and uh, luxurious, shiny stuff around us. Mm -hmm. And people worship their celebrities, whether it's a sports person or from the film world, more than God. Mm. And they want to be like them, mm. right? And money is the god for every person, whether a theist or an, or an atheist. You mm -hmm. know, money is everything. So with that shiny, luxurious power play game, mm -hmm. which one wants to play, mm -hmm. right? That gives the the whole uh, madness to the person's mind. I need this, 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 this. Everybody has a bucket list. True. This is the one word which I got to hear four years back, first time in America. I said, I'm guilty that? of it as well. <laughs> <laughs> Everybody has a bucket list. Huh? So they need 20 things, you know, uh, at first go, then another 20 things, which are at the level two, then three, then four. Now, when you want so many things and you aren't getting all that, the result is going to be frustration. Hmm. Frustration will lead to aggression mm. towards those who have it. Mm. So the jealousy and the malicious gossiping part comes there. Mm. Right? So the frustration gives rise to aggression. And when the aggression does the shirshasan, that is the upside down position, then it becomes depression. Wow, well said. Right? Yes. So I say, I need your bracelet. Maybe. I don't want it. Please don't. <laughs> Say, I, I, I want this, mm -hmm. right? And I don't get it. What will happen? I'll be angry. Mm. And then I, would, I might think about, you know, something should happen to her or she should lose it or she should forget it and then I would get it. Very true. Right? Or, or, or should I say that, oh, she must have done something wrong. Otherwise, how could she have a very expensive bracelet? Mm. You know? 
there I'm putting down the character of a person. Mm-hmm. And if I say successfully get that what I wanted, whether a bracelet, car, girlfriend, boyfriend, or something else, that will make me more greedy, and then I'll run more. Mm. Right? True. And if I don't get it, then it will lead to frustration, further aggression, and then further the depression. Now nobody wants depression, right? Very true. Nobody wants to be frustrated. Nobody wants to feel the uh, aggression, but they don't want to drop the desires. That's there also you true. go. So that's the root of the whole problems. So we have we have to learn two things in this. Mm-hmm. The one most important thing is that the real joy is within you. Very yeah. difficult, I know. Yeah. But it isn't. You mm-hmm. experience that every day. Let me put it like this: When a mother sees her child running to her, "Mom, mom, mom," isn't she the happiest person? She is. She yes. is. When, when, when uh, um, a person meets their spouse, say um, after a long time or the first time, mm-hmm. maybe it won't happen the second time, mm-hmm. but the first yes, time. <laughs> <laughs> so, isn't it a great moment? It is. Mm-hmm. Life's like when simple, somebody precious gets their first moments. job. When you get your first salary check, mm-hmm. when you get your girlfriend or boyfriend, when you get to marry, when you get to buy a new house, it's a great time for everybody. Mm-hmm. But this peak comes and goes. It's you like, can't remain on the peak all the time. It's like hills and valleys. Yes, yeah. and the moment you are at the peak, you you are seeing more things now. Oh, I have missed all that. Mm. So again, you come down, running from that hill to grab that other stuff. Mm. And while doing all this, we still think that maybe I can pop in a tablet, which can make me stress free. So true, <laughs> very true. We are always looking for easy solutions. Right, right. So um, I, I have I have seen it, I have read it, and that is, oils are being sold. Put it on your body, you'll be stress free. Candles are being sold for stress free. Massages are being done, getting stress free. Music is being made. Listen to it, and you'll become stress free and what not. It's a big industry. It's a huge industry. It's yes. a billion dollar industry. Mm-hmm. Well, let them make money, but the problem of a common man of the stress wouldn't go until that person understands that the real joy is in the life itself. So it's all about living in the moment and yes. forgetting about the outside. Look within. Understanding. That is more important. Understanding. Understanding, okay. Understanding which in Sanskrit we call viveka. Viveka. That is the right power of discrimination. We understand the the quality and the factual information about the stuff with which we are surrounded, mm-hmm. and we are able to give a moment to ourselves. It is not question of being religious. I am just saying giving a moment to yourself in this racing schedule of yours. Yours. You take a moment. You take a deep breath, and you still your eye pupil. Mm-hmm. And you watch your breathing, and if possible, then you learn diaphragmatic breathing. And that is what I teach in the in the workshops when we conduct the the pranayama workshops. And that is how to inhale diaphragmatically, mm. how not to inhale a very shallow breath. Mm. Because let me put it like this: when you take a shallow breath. Then the amount of oxygen would be less ingested, mm-hmm. so less amount of oxygen in the blood. That means less oxygen to the brain and all the body organs. This means the functioning of your brain and your vital organs would not be to the optimum level. So that dropping down feeling or the loss of the energy is there. Mm-hmm. So giving a moment to yourself. Giving a pause, mm-hmm. and it is good to have a pause. True. You are having a pause even in my interview. Yes, for sure. <laughs> I'm getting the chance to soak this all in, breathe right. in. So that pause is very important. So if that pause is created uh, knowingly, consciously, and we use our body and we use our breathing as a tool to give us relaxation and peace, and that is what this human body can do. Mm-hmm. And that is what your simple breathing can do, and that is quieten up your mind. 
So that is how like true meditation yoga should be. Everything, yeah, you know, whether it's Zen, whether it is the Buddhist meditation, whether it's a yogic meditation, dhyana, or whether it is a Sufi meditation, whether it is a Zikra, whether it is a Sema, the dance of the Sufis, whatever name you wish to give as per the various religious uh, uh, styles. Yeah. But the thing is, they are all creating that pause. And breath is a very vital moment which can give easily to any common man. So whosoever is listening to me, if they can, mm -hmm. you know, just take this much. You know, just close your eyes if possible. I hope not while driving. No. You, sit, <laughs> you sit down somewhere and you just close your eyes and you inhale through your no nose and you allow the chest and the stomach to protrude. Mm -hmm. And you feel the body movements which will occur with this kind of a deep breathing and you just gently exhale it out. The breath is non-jerky, the breath is smooth, the breath is long. Mm -hmm. Three things. Mm -hmm. So if you do these three things, you don't need any guru, you don't need any teacher, you don't need a, a pay a, a fee to, to learn this what I am giving. Mm -hmm. It is as simple as for a fish to swim and it is same for a humans to have this meditative pause irrespective of caste, creed, religion or nationality. Very Amazing. simple. Very so simple. Inhaling a deep breath, maybe you bring the count into it that you inhale say the count of four and you exhale four mm -hmm. and you slowly elongate your breathing rate and you take it to say eight, you take it to ten and then equal exhalations. Just few cycles of it, maybe mm -hmm. 21, maybe 31, as much as the time you have. And when you will open up your eyes, the world will be a different. Release because the your toxins. mind will be different. Mm -hmm. Because your mind is different. different. Like you release your toxins and you get closer to that awareness yes. we are talking yes. about. And yes. that's, there you have it. You can do it uh, in your own home and you get closer to what we were talking about, true happiness. It's the self-awareness and finding yourself that leads you towards true happiness. Yeah. With all that you have done, you are also very much helping the community, not just through your teachings, but we know that you have an NGO, Shakti, yeah. that is working towards women empowerment. You'll Tell us more. You'll be happy to know this year we'll be completing uh, a number 22,000 girls. Congratulations. Yeah, 22. Well, it's a congratulation to the whole community who has yes. supported this program. And uh, my heartfelt gratitude goes to all the kind-hearted, spirited people who came forward and, and offered the money and, and volunteered to work with us. And this year we have opened up our fourth center in India mm -hmm. that is for the vocational training. In, nice. a, in a slum area of Kanpur in Uttar Pradesh. Wow, okay. Our other center uh, in Mumbai is also in a slum area. Mm -hmm. And every year around about 400 to 600 girls are now getting their training without any fee and helping them to stand on their feet. Amazing. And giving them the, the tuition fees for their education to be completed. And the, the chapter of the vocational training was very, very important because what will you do with the degree if you don't have a job? Very true. So you get, uh, being an educated jobless is not a good thing. Mm -hmm. So being uh, able to stand for yourself and support for yourself is very, very important. Mm -hmm. So teaching the skills to the girls and the women and whether they are educated or not, although education is very important, but still sometimes mm -hmm. getting food becomes more important. Practical, the it's, practical. It's the thing. Yeah. So uh, these centers are doing their work, plus the, the education part is being taken care of. And I'm very happy to say 22,000 this year. Amazing. And it's yeah. uh, it's thanks to leaders like yourself and the community that Definitely. comes together Definitely. that we can combat everything that's happening. Um, See, to, a, time, yes. a time where still uh, a baby girl is not accepted a time where still illegally she is aborted. Yeah. A time where a woman is, is pressurized to kill her own child just because the baby is a girl. Mm -hmm. In these times, we really need to work uh, on this issue and that is giving dignity to the femalehood, mm -hmm. giving dignity to the woman, mm -hmm. giving dignity. See, everybody wants 
a beautiful daughter in law or a beautiful girlfriend a beautiful wife but nobody wants a daughter mm-hmm. so if there isn't a daughter being born in some family how would you get your wife or beloved or girlfriend or a bahu yes there won't be any or for that matter children yeah yeah. yes yeah Uh, so the the discrimination in between a male and a female child is still very much prevalent and that's a sad yeah that's a sad truth it is it is and the need to uh, make people understand that each baby is a miracle very true so that is a gift of lord to us so that gift should be appreciated Mm-hmm. And every girl should be told this and every woman should be told this and every man should support this mm-hmm. and every woman should support this because in there are certain families it is the mother in law who is pushing the daughter in law to go and get the abortion stand we hear that a lot yes right? yeah and sometimes it is the husband who, who wishes to have a male hire and I always say are you what and in mugliya sensa or what mm-hmm. what kind of <laughs> heritage do you have which you wish to you know give it to somebody you are a nobody so who are you to make these choices and they absolutely don't understand the science if it is not a boy it is not the mothers to be accused it is the father true it's the y <laughs> x y gene comes from it's the male the y gene chromosome yeah. coming from the father and not exactly. from the mother mother but yeah. still that woman will be abused and disrespected for not bearing a male child Mm-hmm. So this is something which is is a very sorry state uh, uh, affair of our society and it's not a good thing actually to talk much about it it is a fact a hard hitting fact we just have to accept it okay. but the most positive thing which we as a whole society need to do is and um, that is to respect every girl and woman mm-hmm. and make her able eligible educated so that she lives a dynamic life and becomes a leader and becomes a very sure shot person who can do anything professionally and who can run her home and who can run her affairs without her being badgered mm. without her being disrespected in any home where a woman is not being respected i believe that home is is like a hell hole then there, there is no humanity over there Yeah, there well there won't be any grace happening over there but the woman is is crying and and sobbing and going through the the depressive state so much so that she sometimes ends up ending up her life yeah. so the security the eligibility through education and making her capable and making her self supportive and the best part is that i enjoy being a female you know that should be the song mm-hmm. i enjoy Proud being a and girl enjoy. and god has made me a mini god because the woman is a creator she creates another human being out of her body mm-hmm. right so every woman first needs to respect herself It starts from within yes, yes. So i am a goddess yes <laughs> so so deal with everybody like a like a goddess who is loving who is caring who is giving but who knows how to protect herself mm-hmm. and who knows how to stand for herself and who knows how to speak up for herself so, well it's a one battle one day at a time but uh, thanks to organizations like shakti we are getting closer to winning the battle Definitely. Where can our viewers find out more about Shakti? Is there a website? Yeah, there's yeah. a website, shaktimission.org, and also at our uh, uh, home uh, website, it's uh, guruman.com. Uh, so all the information is there. Some wonderful videos are there, and my there Shakti album is there, okay. uh, where the video was also shot. Uh, one of the song was shot, and lately I was just uh, in hearing this that lot of. Uh, people are using that song in their schools and colleges and and functions and they are playing that song well, and say, serving the purpose well, serving the purpose yeah. uh, serving the purpose suno suno meri awaaz uh, so that is a very a very uh, pleasing thing that a thought which was just a, a tiny tiny thought in my mind and now that is being lapped up and not only that the pm of uh, india has also now given this call beti bachao beti padhao and i said wow <laughs> it's a, it's an amazing following so yeah. which brings me to the next point amongst <clears throat> everything that you do you are a prolific 
uh, singer, poet, composer, do you spend see, a lot of time? Uh, it's just like that. See, blood runs in your veins, right? So music runs in my veins. <laughs> Very well said. So that's so, one of the destined things, but you went for the choice. It is. It too. is just that it's such a such an enjoyable and loving thing and such an invigorating thing, and I believe every human being, whether the person has a Rolls Royce car or not, mm -hmm. but should have an access to good music, and should be able to dance. And you know the the, the looseness in the body, and the best part is you manufacture adrenaline in your body, and that is the happy hormone. Mm, yes, right. True. So your body is a chemical factory. You don't need to take a puff or a pot from somebody. You can just <laughs> dance because it's a positive sing, cycle. Or sing. Yes. And the happy hormones are released in your body. True. So it becomes uh, easy, easy, very easy to live because life can be pretty hard. Mm -hmm. Pretty hard, As but music about. gives that mellowness and gives that sweetness to the bitterness, and then somehow it becomes uh, digestible and calibrable yeah. and acceptable. Well, today what I learned is music and words of wisdom, like uh, you know, leaders like yourself. That uh, well, I'm no leader. Us. Please don't call me. I'm no leader. I'm just a well. just a. Person. Just well, I must person. say, though, it has been an immense pleasure talking to you today. I wish we could go on. Uh, but before we conclude, I was just wondering I have a request for you for our youngsters today who are go getters and want to make it big on their own. If you could give them a few words of your wisdom. Well, for all of my young friends who are listening to me at the moment, uh, yes, be a go getter, but first get the grip of your own life and get the ability to stand for yourself and with a strong mind and a clear intellect and then make your choices about your careers and relationships but with a weaker mind if you have a weak mind and depressive frustrated and aggressive mind you will end up hurting yourself more and with a hurt mind mind which is feeling the pain and the misery cannot give smiles to anybody so we have to make this mind a happier mind and have the ability to create smiles and then we can share it with everybody who is around us. There you have it. Thank you very much Guruma for coming and sharing your words of wisdom with us today. It's my pleasure. Sure. We wish you all the best with Thank Shakti you. and all the projects. Thank you so much. Thank <laughs> and you for having And today you've given us the key to true happiness. Thank oh, you. Oh, my pleasure, sure. my pleasure. Thank Namaste. you. Namaste. तो ये थे आनंद मोती गुरुमा जिन्होंने हमें एहसास दिलाया है कि वो जो दिया है हमारे अंदर फाइंड इट एंड वील फाइंड द की टू ट्रू हैप्पीनेस वेल दैट्स अ रैप फॉर दिस वीक एंड कंटिन्यू टू फॉलो अस ऑन फेसबुक ट्विटर एंड राइट टू मी एट वी जी अमिता स्पॉटलाइट एट जी मेल डॉट कॉम वी विल कंटिन्यू टू ब्रिंग यू इंस्पायरिंग गेस्ट Until next week this is Amita signing off but encouraging you to find that light within you to find that spotlight towards true happiness. <laughs>